Hey, what's up? It's me, K3D, and today's reading, today's picker card will be on have you encountered a magical bean before? Um, if you have, what was it? Uh, if you haven't, we'll get some information maybe on how to go about having an experience like that. So, um, I pulled all the cards beforehand. All you guys got to do is pick a pile. So I'll have timestamps down below, but um, pile selection will be by animal cards. So pile one, you are the panther, or this is your card, panther. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's got the moon here too, just like I'm wearing. I got the shirt. Hot Topic. I love it. I saw it and I was like, it was in the clearance section. I'm like, how, how did I get so lucky? Six dollars. All right. And then pile two, you got the zebra here. The zebra, look at his eyes. All right, pile three, you got the phoenix, the little feet, phoenix. And then pile four, you got the toucan, the beautiful beak. I was gonna make a toucan noise, but I don't know what, look at his little feet. <laughs> all right, so timestamps down below, pile one, two, three, or four. Um, again, all cards are pulled, I just have to flip them over and read them. So let's get started. There is a pile here where, I mean, I try not to see the cards beforehand. Sometimes they flip over and I can't help it. But there's one pile here that I know for a fact is a yes. And I'm very interested to see, like, what that one, like, what happened there. So, yeah, you'll see. All right. And real quick, also, I'll say, because um, when I pull cards at the end of pulling the cards from the deck i'll flip the deck over and the card at the bottom is usually like kind of my message so what i got is that i have not necessarily encountered a magical being is like you know what i you know maybe a possibility here or like again what i think that um is going on for me just from what i've got that i don't believe i've seen one but that i would have to seek the experience if i would want to so that um it's possible here but also there's like a level of fate if it were to happen uh, but it would also require me to like to like be open-minded to kind of seek it out but also at the same time not push it so i don't know if that might be something for you guys um yeah but also that you know creating it because i was have a fool here so creating that magical experience, it will be more likely to open me up to the magical experience. So let's see what you guys get. I'm excited. So pile one. Let me just write that down now so I don't have to just go back and pile one. Three, 13. Three, one, three. All right, so let's see. Pile one, the panther. It's your card, all right? pulled these all beforehand so the thing about the panther i try to look up the animals a little bit like on a little bit of mythology i didn't want to go too into it um but the panther so we know panther can represent courage power also rites of passage um panthers are also like um can be like spiritual guides uh like in the astral realm um yeah rites of passage was that one stood out to me so transformation could be um, a thing happening in this situation. So whatever the situation was, it could have been like during a transformative moment or it's something that did transform you or whatever this experience was, was like some sort of rite of passage. And if you haven't had it yet, it will be like a rite of passage or you have to go through a rite of passage to experience this, you know? Like it, this could be a reward or it could have been the actual thing. So it just depends on what's here. Also, um, gods associated with panthers uh Dionysus from Greek mythology so if you did see something you could have been like either having a really good time being under the influence um also uh Basset which is a, an Egyptian goddess um she has a lot of different duties and forms so I didn't want to like I'd have to write down a lot but if you're interested I would look her up it's B-A-S-T or B-A-S-T-E-T -E um 
She also protects women and children, also pregnant women. So that could be relevant. Like, you know, you could have been pregnant with the set when this was happening or having a child around you. Um, yeah. And then they're prominent in Africa, Asia, and South America. So a few different places. Also, panther can, is just like kind of like a black big cat. So like a jaguar or a leopard. So there's, I think, multiple possibilities here when we have different like forms of the animal and of what, you know, who, what they represent. So, um, yeah, this, this could have been an experience that was witnessed by multiple people too. Like you may have not been like alone in witnessing this or there are people who have different interpretations of what happened here, or you have different interpretations of what happened here, but let's look at the cards. So this first couple cards will be like the straight up yes or no, like have you seen a magical creature? So we get the two birds and the nine of birds, both reverse. These are wands cards. So this to me, it being mean like with this, these swords reverse is saying no, right? Saying that there's no experience. It also is indicative that if there was an experience, there's like an overthinking about it. So um, this is one of those things where I think that maybe there could have been an experience, but like it wasn't recognized as an experience. So again, this could be like a no here, but I'm also just getting more like, it was there was like an illusion about it like maybe there was an experience had but it wasn't recognized as that experience we have the two birds two swords here reverse which indicates that like this is thinking about an event from like two different um sides i guess and like one is like yes this was and one side is like no this wasn't so this could be you know between like maybe logic or rationale and then like just straight up like actual open-mindedness and creativity um and then with the nine of birds reverse here nine of swords reverse here there's something about this that's like the word soothing came up so like maybe to you the possibility you're like well if this was real um or like you maybe need to know the truth about it and that would help like ease your mind about it maybe it's something that you think about you ponder on a lot like you think back to this moment and you're like what was that but let's look at the feeling card and then we'll get it. that'll help us clarify this a little bit oh and then we got movement here so this was a prominent feeling you were feeling when this happened so this could have been happening when you were moving around maybe it happened really quick and so that could be why you didn't recognize it um or why you weren't able to like fully experience it maybe that's it but whatever this is you weren't able to fully experience it this could also be an almost where like you almost saw something, but you didn't because you were too busy moving. Like this could be you literally walking and then just like walking right past something, perhaps. This could also because we have two of these like birds cards. Um, this could have happened during the winter. It could have happened in snow. It could be like a snow, a creature associated with snow. Um, a moment frozen in time. But it's interesting because it's like, it's kind of like a no, but I feel like this no is that it was more like an almost or you don't recognize that that's what happened. You don't fully recognize it. Maybe you have a suspicion. I mean, you're here watching this video. You have a suspicion perhaps, but there was a moment when you did or almost cross paths with something and there's just like some sort of yeah there's just like a lack of awareness of it or there's just this internal debate you have like mm, i don't think i saw it and i think the reason you're having that debate is because you didn't see a lot of it this could have just been a feeling you had and you're not sure if that feeling was accurate or you kind of saw something but like it was just such a little bit of it that it wasn't enough to like make you fully believe that that's what happened but i do think that there was an experience here especially since we have the panther and there's a moon on this, but the, just the moon can also represent, you know, the, un, the unknown here, right? So I think there is like an element here where like you didn't get all the information about the situation. So I think there was a situation here. I wouldn't be surprised if you don't even like really remember it, you know? Yeah, 
to me this is this is like to me i'm getting like an almost this is more of like an almost or if like yes you did it was just like so barely interesting okay and then these next cards will tell us about the moment slash about the creature so these are um my spirit halloween slash you could get this at spencer's um deck and they have uh, mythical creatures on them so these creatures could be you know what you almost saw saw experience it could just tell us more again about the moment so i'm gonna you know they are they are also tarot cards so we'll read them as the tarot but i'm looking at the pictures more in this reading so we have the emperor reverse which is also the sphinx so this is so we have two like cats so this could be like a cat like creature or this could have been like um a cat from another realm i don't know but here we have the sphinx so it's also the emperor reversed um this is also just like clarification that there wasn't like a full knowledge or acknowledgement of the thing that happened um this also with the emperor reverse because emperor can be um can be like boundaries too this could have been like you were in an area that like maybe you weren't fully supposed to be in which is why you could have like almost seen this like it was one of those moments where like not the wrong place the wrong time because you know i don't think really anything happened i mean maybe maybe this was an experience where something happened because you were in the wrong place like you were somewhere you shouldn't have been so that's that could have been you were somewhere you should have been or this creature was somewhere it shouldn't have been right like especially if this was a creature from like another realm like you know that could have somehow accessed or got, come into our realm at a certain time you just so happened to be like walking by when it happened um yeah also this is you know the sphinx we have you know egypt again so we've got egypt twice here so that could be relevant if you're interested in like egyptian mythology i would like look into that um but yeah that's interesting and we also have the high priestess reverse okay and then temperance but the temperance also has moon and i saw the moon first um so yeah that with the high priestess reverse again i'm like and this is also the fortune teller so i don't think you saw like necessarily a fortune teller but um yeah the high priestess reverse is this is a lack of, of awareness like literally like there was i think there was something that there was something that happened this isn't okay so this is just more like this isn't a no this is a lack of awareness of what happened um yeah, that's what that high priestess is telling me here. It's a lack of awareness. And then we have temperance, which is a sea nymph here. But um, again, this is temperance, but I saw that moon first. So again, that's just like the unknown here. Um, it, I mean, this could have been like a nymph, I guess, based on the, if it was like a cat person, maybe. You know, like, um, I don't remember which one it is, but like, you know star sea people or like alien races there's um i think there's multiple of them but there's like at least one specific one that's like the people the people like are kind of like humanoid looking but also cat like looking if i mean if that's something that you know you're you have like a belief in even if you don't have a belief in that because again there's like a lack of awareness here i could see something like that like it being like like again, a creature from another realm. Cats are definitely significant. We got cat twice, you know. You know, I, and then even with the sphinx, the sphinx, it's literally like you got the human head and then like the cat body. And the reason why you didn't see, because like, also like, maybe our like our eyes can't see these things, so that could be another thing. Like maybe you you genuinely didn't see anything. Maybe you had a slight feeling. You're like, I feel like something's here with me. Something weird and not human is here with me. Like, if you ever had a moment like that, you're like, something's here. That would be, again, this moment. A moment that you kept moving through. Um, this is actually really cool. Yeah, I'm feeling... I'm really thinking, like, if... Okay. And this, again, sounds crazy because, like, when you think of, like, you know magical creatures or whatever you don't really think of like aliens but this could be like 
I think, you know, this creature from another realm. We have cats and we have humans. I think this could be like, or it could be like a creature that can transform from cat to human. You know, I don't know, you know, all types of, you know, magical, mythological creatures or aliens, you know. Um, so again, you know, you might know more or if you want to know more, I, I would look into that. I would look into that one like alien creature. I don't, again, I don't know. But if you look like into star seeds, it's like one of those races that's listed and I don't remember what it is. But um, I know this one that's literally like feline something. So, but there's other ones too. Um, also snow, cold, winter, something is significant here. That could just be like space, you know? That's wild, okay. And now let's get the um, bottom two cards, which are um, how to see again or what to do with this information. So we have justice reversed. We have page of wands reversed and page of swords. So when I saw these two pages, again, we have wands and uh, swords that keeps coming out of my readings. Um, I did see these two pages come out reverse. And immediately when I saw those, I was like, oh, this is a situation where like this person's not gonna really be able to see this. Like the device is to not necessarily try to see this again. I don't think you will see it again. I think that you saw it or felt it or it the encounter was something that wasn't really supposed to happen. Um, especially if it was like an alien creature um, or just a creature from another realm, whatever. I don't think you were supposed to see this. I don't think you necessarily did see it. And if you did, this is, I mean, I don't think you did because if you did, you wouldn't be doubting this. There's no way it would be, it would look crazy. I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I think again, this is a situation that you weren't supposed to encounter. I think the other creature knows that you were there. Um, and you guys, you weren't supposed, you weren't supposed to be near. Um, if you got a glimpse, I don't know, but I do think that there was an almost encounter. I think you were right next, right next to whatever this was. Um, I don't necessarily think it's ever going to happen again. It could, it could, but I think it was an accident. It wasn't supposed to happen. And that with the two pages reversed here and justice reversed, I don't think you have the ability to see this again. Now, if you're curious, you could look into this. Um, you know, you could you know, be aware of this and then have the knowledge that there is really more out there. Um, which again, I think you already believe that because you're here watching this video. But um, yeah, I don't, I think that whatever this was, I think you're very like, it's very cool that it happened. Like even at that it almost happened. You were at least right next to something that is not of our realm for sure. Probably like a cat-like human is really what I'm I'm thinking here. Got like human from space. And again, all I could, you know, speak on is what I know about. So if there's something else that this reminds you of and you're like more sure that it was something like that, then that could be the case too. Okay. So you know you take what I'm saying, but you also take your own knowledge and of the situation and um location has a you know um matters too so if there's a certain location you were in and there are certain certain stories or mythologies that are well known in that location you know the stories that you know i may, may not know um i would take those stories into consideration too so if like the people in the area are like oh if you were to tell them they'd be like oh that's this then it's probably that you know um or something like that at least all right but pile one that's what i have for you very cool very awesome that that happened um that's that is really cool that's I mean the fact that if this is you know confirmation for me that stuff like you know just or you know even for any of us that more confirmation that stuff like this is you know it's real and again you know I believe in that I don't need to like you know necessarily confirmation but just this is your confirmation that you did kind of have an encounter here you were right next to something which is like this is something that probably never happens to anybody 
you might be like three people on the planet that have this experience you know you might be the only one who knows like but regardless very cool even if it was on accident even if it will never happen again very very interesting and also when stuff like this happens it, i feel like it i mean it means something regardless for your life but when it comes to this specific creature don't know that it's not gonna you're not gonna see this would be cool if you did but i don't think you will ever encounter this again but it's amazing that this happened at all so very cool bio one thank you for joining if you like this you can like comment subscribe whatever you feel like doing and um i will see you in the next one later all right did you hear that oh my god okay pile two 2052. Okay. 2052. Alright, pile two, you picked the zebra. Alright, so for me, zebra can, um, or like, can, it can represent like individuality, identity, um, uniqueness specifically here. Um, also like balance and harmony. So, again, we'll have to see more what this means for the exact situation here. But there's that, um, Zebras also, um, I mean, yes, they're, they're African creatures, so there could be like stories that, again, stories I don't know about. I brought this up in pile one sometimes with stories that exist that I don't know about that could be relevant to your situations. Um, but when I was trying to look up like zebra specific symbolism mythology, East Africa, specifically Kenya, came up. So those that country and East African countries could be significant here. Um, I would maybe look into more of those myths. Also, the fact of like a myth that how the zebra got its stripes, um, at least one of them is that the stripes are actually burn marks. So um, that like one that I saw was that a young bruised up, um, like calf, right? Uh, walked through a baboon fire or something like that. And that's how he got his like stripes or burn marks, um, which is, there's one book I had, it was like a purple, hardcover I need to find it but I had like stories like that like how things came to be um and I wish I had that I wish I knew what it was called but it was like purple and had like a little picture on the front like a tree I think but um how that could be relevant here like how something came to be like the mythology even if it's not a zebra if there's another creature here like could have witnessed it coming to be i don't know we're gonna look at the other cards though but let's see right here all right so first card is going to be the yes or no right have you seen a magical creature all right so we have four of trees and soulmates so four, four of trees is like the four of pentacles here oh this just creeped me out uh <laughs> Kind of like these eyes could be really significant here because I didn't even think about these eyes when I looked at the other one. And also the zebra's eyes kind of freaked me out a little bit. So eyes, you could have seen like eyes. That could have been what happened here. Like you could have seen eyes and like in the trees or something, right? In the trees, in the grass, you know, wherever you were at the time. Um, yeah, so and then the four of pentacles. So like also... Um, this could be a memory that you hold on to really tight too with the four of pentacles here. It could be something that you ponder, but also and with soulmates too. Like I think that this, there's an experience here that does mean a lot to you. You do still hold on to it tightly. Um, with the soulmates here, this is also like, again, it's something that really sticks with you. Like, Maybe to this day you think about those eyes and it's like, it's, yeah, we'll, we'll pull more, but I mean, you know, if you, I mean, you would know what the situation is, right? You may have felt like there was a connection that happened between you and this creature. Um, however, that may have happened again, may have just been eye contact. You may eye contact and it's like, it just change the way that you feel about yourself and about the world um 
Also with the four of trees, the four of pentacles and the soulmates and then this card they're hugging. I do think that, yeah, this experience was a more like tangible experience for you. Maybe you even touched this thing. I don't know. But I think like the look, you looking into the eyes, especially. Yeah, you got you got close to this thing. You got very close to it. You know, with the zebra, there's also like, you know, a unique experience here. And then with balance and harmony, and then we also have the soulmate. I think what, you know, this experience was probably like a really positive one. Let's see what the feeling cards. Oh, actually remember what these ones were. Sadness and happiness. Happiness and sadness. That's what I remember seeing these come out. And I was like, so I could see how this is both with what I'm already saying. So this could have created a longing in you. Where like this experience was really amazing, but because it was short or you haven't experienced it since, now you're sad about it. Or it was so powerful that you felt like an array of feelings. But um, yeah, with there being sadness and happiness, this was a powerful experience. I think it was definitely more tangible than like, um, you know, than like pile one. It, this is more than just like a feeling. This is something that like happened. And then we'll get more on what this creature was. But um, yeah, whatever this was, like you got, you got close to it. You were able to feel both happy and sad about it. I think that the, the sadness is like, I think there's a longing here with, you know, the fact that you were holding on to it and the soulmates and yeah this is this is powerful this is i mean you'll know exactly what i'm talking about here and this is comfort this so this will just be confirmation i mean i don't even think you necessarily need the confirmation because this longing is so strong that you have but maybe you're just here you're curious like what was that maybe sometimes you ask yourself you're like was it real yeah this this happened this, I mean, to me, this is, this is a yes. I mean, with four trees and soulmates. Yeah, this is a yes here. And especially with two different feelings, opposing feelings. I mean, opposing can coexist, obviously. I think that's what's, but let's, let's look at the other cards. But wow. Okay. So these next ones are going to tell us more about the moment and the creature itself. So these are my um, spirit Halloween cards. So they have creatures on them. The creatures on the card could be the creature. It could just also explain the moment. I will, yes, be looking at the actual tarot meeting, but I look at the pictures more in this reading specifically. So let's just see. So we have the King of Wands reverse. So this is Anubis. So this is upright. And I don't necessarily remember what Anubis is a god of. I feel dumb a little bit for it, but um, yeah, you could look into that. So we have Anubis, the King of, King of Wands here, reverse. Power is relevant here. This card also shows Cancer and the North Node. So this could happen in the North Node with a Cancer. Um, yeah, let's look at the other cards though. This could have been something that like because yes, we have like, oh, you were holding on to it. You're still holding on to it. That this could be something that maybe you're like trying to hold too tightly onto or trying to have some sort of like control over it, perhaps. Um, let's see what else. We also have the Hierophant Reverse, which is the Voodoo Warlock. So this is upright. Okay, so first of all, we have two... Sort of, okay, so you only got two cards here. Um, so both of these cards are like um, more humanoid looking people, right? You might have had like an actual like, I mean, yeah, we have soulmates. I wasn't like, you know, necessarily trying to get too, too much into that. But there could be like, you do feel like a romantic connection to whoever this is. Your creature also could have been a more humanoid looking creature here. Um, 
this also could have been um it could have been like a, a just a like a person here or some like some sort of magical person this i mean this could have been a magical person here um or um you know somebody like you know could have been like a spiritualist or witch or you know whatever it is but um this is a counter also you know with the hairpin reverse here like Which, you know, can be rebellion. And then when I think about the zebra and it, the uniqueness of it. Um, you probably don't talk to people about this experience. This is probably an experience that, like, really makes... It was probably so powerful that, like, you feel like you are different from other people because it's happened to you. Like, you can't explain it. it you can't make sense of it in your life. Like, you can't really fit it in your life where feel like you can't even fit yourself in other people's lives because you've experienced this and they haven't. I'm having a hard time getting like what exactly this creature is though. Again, I feel like this could have been more like a person. Like maybe you were walking through the woods or something and then you saw somebody there and then you guys made eye contact and it was like, I don't know, like a love at first sight thing or I don't know if you got closer. I don't know if you talked. I don't know. But um, this magical creature could be more like a person, like a magical person. Because we have, again, there's two like, and also, you know, they're when they're both reversed, they're not, they're facing away from each other here. So I think, you know, that's just iterating the fact that there was a once a closeness and now it's like, you no know, longer once you were looking at each other now you're no longer looking also this person's eyes are closed here that's interesting eyes are i mean eyes are very very significant here for you and your situation i mean you know with anubis too i don't know because i know there's the eye of raw and there's the other one and i don't remember but again, eyes, eyes are something about the eyes here and something that had eyes. I'm having a hard time getting like what your creature is. But again, this might be, I think it's, I think it's more like a person, like a person that you had a magical experience with or a magical person you had a magical experience with that like now there's like a separation and you miss them you miss the situation there's I mean, again the longing here you know this is not something that you're gonna like let go of but let's um because these next cards are going to tell us um how you can maybe see this again or if like you're meant to um what to do with the situation whatever they show so let's see so i'm sorry i'm not able to get more on like what the magical creature is but like for you this might just be like more it's more like an experience here like the mad the magical part was the connection i guess all right all right that's not the right way i don't so we have the Ten of Swords here, there's the Star Reverse, and there's the Seven of Cups. Yeah, again, I don't necessarily see this happening again. I think it, you know, not to say that it's completely impossible, but also I think it kind of is. I think that you hope to see this person or creature again. I, um... The last deck, it was the same thing. Like, I don't think that that will happen again. I mean, we have the Ten of Swords here, which can represent... To me, I'm seeing the self... Like, yes, this is an ending, right? I'm also seeing, like, the self-sabotage of holding on to something of the longing. Um, so you you could be self-sabotaging by holding on to this. Like, especially if you really are hoping to see this again. Um, and then with the Star Reverse, again, you know, that's can be faith, but... Um, Maybe misguided faith here. Um, you're having faith in something that's not 
not the star you should be looking at. I ain't with the seven of cups here. Like this guy selected, I didn't really realize this before. He selected two cups and he's got the jewels in his hand. He's also got the snake wrapped around him. So there could be, again, there's like, there's a risk he associated with this of like trying to go back for this. Like maybe the first time you got the jewels, right? Um, Like you got this experience and then if you try to go back for it again, then like then the snake will wrap around you. Like... Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't try to chase this again. And I I'm not I'm not saying to forget about it. I don't think you should. I think that magical experiences are they're magical. Why would you want to forget about them? You could do a lot with this. If you're a creative, you could create something about it. Um you could take, you know, just the knowledge that something like this is possible and then apply that to the rest of your life like that anything's possible, that magic is possible, love is possible. Um connection is possible. But this is a, one of those situations where um, you're not really meant to encounter this again. And part of your story might be longing for this. You know, maybe you're supposed to have some sort of longing for it. But I don't think you're supposed to let that longing like control your life or to try to necessarily seek it out again. I think it was like kind of maybe a one time experience here. Um and then with the hair fan reverse here too, I'm like, I don't think it was something that was like ever meant to like be a forever thing or to be like <laughs> something that, um yeah, you like base your life off of or you write like your moral code or, you know, values off of necessarily, but more of like a one-off experience. Yeah, it was, it was like, a, it was a moment in time. And, you know, I think, you know, you could do something with that again. If you're creative, you could create with it. But, yeah, file two, you know, that's kind of where I'm going to leave it. Yes, there was this experience. Um, but it's not one you're really meant to or are going to go back to. It was meant to be like a... Like, <laughs> they switched spots. I didn't even realize that. Um, this was, like, meant to be like a kind of a one and done experience. I'm trying to, like hold on to it too tightly or try to control the situation and make it happen again is I think it's just going to cause you more pain and more sadness and I think you can you know try to eliminate the sadness and try to just again keep this memory you know as a wonderful magical moment right but yeah it's not it's not one to go back to though it's not one to try to like seek out again you know and you know if certain things are meant to happen they're meant to happen but this was like a one a one time one time thing for you guys and I'm you know kind of sorry to say it because I like I'm getting the feel I'm like understanding the feeling of like yeah but thank you pile two for joining if you liked it you could like comment subscribe sorry about the issue just now so I'll see you in the next one bye I just don't because like yesterday was it yesterday or the day before there was this lady walking down the street or getting coming home she's walking down the street with a rope in her like a leash in her hand like rope leash in her hand and I hear her yelling a name and I'm like I don't hear what the name is but I'm like oh this lady's looking for a dog for sure so when we like get out of the car I'm like keeping my eyes peeled seeing if I can see a dog <clears throat> and then my boyfriend was like oh we should look I'm like I been looking and then we get to our front door and then the dog just like had walked up right behind us and the lady was already like down the street and i was like okay well this is definitely her dog and the dog like was like kind of running from us he like hurt her and then kind of went to run off and i'm like okay well my boyfriend went to try to grab it he couldn't grab the dog and also he scared the name of my dog um but i like booked it down the street i was like hey your dog's over here and she ended up walking back up i'm she got she ended up getting the dog i'm sure she did i didn't see it but they both ended up walking but I don't, that's not, I don't think that's the same dog. No, I think the other one was more blue. Yeah, the other one was like a blue. Um, and that one doesn't have a like, I didn't see like a collar on it or anything. Oh, I need to look out there real quick. There's all kinds of things happening right now. All right. Pile three, 4205. Pile three. 
time for your reading. I'm excited for pile three. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you chose the Phoenix already, like the most magical one in the lineup, right? Already a magical creature. You could have seen a Phoenix. I don't know. I got a little peek at a couple of the other cards on accident. So I already have an idea, but I believe light is associated with your being. Um, could be a light being here, you know, with the fire, it could be, it could be literally angel, okay, I'll just say it right now, could have been an angel, right, we got the wings, got the light, right, um, also there are multiple different, um, mythologies from different places associated with the phoenix, I tried looking into it a little bit, I mean, we all know, like, yes, it, you know, rises from the ashes, right, I think that, that there's a lot of different um things associated with it a lot of different cultures have their own phoenix stories um i was looking it up you know the sun god came up like association with the sun god whoever the sun god may be um and then good prevailing over evil again kind of giving angel vibes right um also at the bottom i was, cause I was scrolling down birds of paradise you know the flower that popped up so i don't know if that's relevant and um your story also um yeah when i was searching it up they there was something that said four types of phoenix and it was egyptian arabian chinese and japanese so um could have been in like one of those like areas when this happened um you could look at multiple different myths here see you know what's relevant sorry i'm gonna keep getting distracted i just need to the dog is fine he's in the tennis court okay don't know who it is but yeah, Phoenix. So let's get your cards and see what's going on here. So the first cards will be the yes or no. Have you seen a magical creature? And I already know. All right. So we have the Pathfinder and the orbs. Oh, okay, I didn't see the orbs. I did see the Pathfinder. And as soon as I saw that, I'm like, immediately I thought angel. Because look at the light. It's a light being. It's for sure. It, I mean, these two, like... um. I mean, this is like a major arcana, and this is just one of the cards of the deck. So this is great. But the orbs and the pathfinder, I really think like angel is associated, or light being, whatever that is. Again, it could be alien or whatever. However, I mean, there's already like, some people believe that angels are aliens, right? Or aliens are angels, whatever. Alien angel, that's a song. Um, but yeah. A light being for sure for sure this is a light okay anyways pile three you're the most exciting pile i'm so sorry to interrupt okay shit happens that could have been how your experience was too i mean yeah okay i'll just get right into it so we have three cards three cards automatically associated with light this could have been a very powerful experience for you guys like one that like that dog barking outside one you could not ignore you could have been called to it even, whatever this was. Um, we'll get more on how this happened, but your answer is yes. I'm almost surprised you're asking because this to me looks like so, this is like, yes, like, I mean, you could have, this could have been like, even maybe you didn't even see anything. You just saw like a bright light, maybe. If you at any point can think of a moment where you're like, you saw this giant bright light and you didn't see anything else. Yes, it was a bean. Yes, it was a light bean. I'm not sure exactly what kind of light bean. I won't get more on it. But big yes. Big on like this was like a like a positive. Also, your card, this is like, like, um, like a cat too. So um this reminds me a little bit of pile one, except because um pile one's I mean, if you want, you can look. But I, I think if you're just a totally different message here. Um, I'll just say, Pia One's encounter was with some sort of being from another realm that might have been like cat-like, cat-like humanoid. Um, I brought up aliens in that. Yours could be a similar thing, alien, angel, whatever. Could be something with cat-like or maybe even bird-like features. Um, human, not human. Again, you may have not even seen anything but light you know, but this was something that was absolutely a non-human thing. But this is 
fucking awesome, if I may say. Like, I mean, it's a big, it's a big yes. You, it was even a spiritual experience, maybe. Let's see the feeling you had associated with it. Consciousness, yeah. Consciousness. So when this light appeared, you could have felt like, you could have felt like really calm, but also like there, there was an awareness that happened. So I don't know if like it happened and you knew what was happening kind of, or like you learned something from it or you, after the moment happened, there was like a spiritual or just like mental elevation that like happened. Like you were different afterwards. You were different in the moment for, for sure. I would be surprised if you weren't different in the moment afterwards. Also with the phoenix here, you know, rising from the ashes, whatever this was, it could have completely changed you. You could have been in like a moment where like, this could have been, this could have been, you know, with the Pathfinder here too. Um, this could have been a, like a near death experience, possibly. Um, this could have been a moment when like, you were at the lowest of the low, you know, again, whether um, you were about to die or you did die um, or you were just in like a really, really bad place. Um, and then you saw this light and it just like you were reborn from this experience, right? This experience changed you. Yes, you saw a magical creature. You saw a creature of light, a light being. Again, don't know what that is. You might have to do like some research, but we've got a couple more cards here. Um, but yeah, already amazing. Like to me, I'm thinking angel. I'm thinking like, you know, we have orbs here, which is like spirits too. Um, this could be an angel of like somebody you knew in life that had become an angel. Um, that you saw this could could have been somebody that yeah again it was an angel that was once a life on human or uh, human earth i guess um on earth was once human maybe they were once a cat or a bird um you know passed on and became an angel and decided to present themselves to you for whatever reason and we'll get more on that but yeah let's go just go so these next cards are going to be um just describing the moment and the creature. So the first card we have here is the lovers, which is a succubus here. But with the lovers, um, I'm just thinking that, yeah, this might, this might have been somebody or something that you once knew, whatever it was, the connection was very powerful, very, yeah, just very intense. It, um, again, it changed you, you like merged with it and it's still this experience, not that it has power over you, but it still influences you. And I know the succubus is like a negative creature, but we have the wings again here. The wings, dude. And again, I don't think this was like a negative creature. This, I mean, with all this light here, I don't think it was like, I really, I'm not at all seeing like negative, but I think the wings here are what's most significant about this moment. This is a, cre a creature that, I'm just thinking angel. I think you saw an angel. Especially with consciousness, like, an angel, a light being, whether that's like an alien, like starseed thing, whatever. Um, yeah, also has a tail here. Oh, just like these two cards combined too. Phoenix and then this Pathfinder with the tail here, the tail, you can't see. And then we have the wings on the tail. I need somebody to do something. I'm gonna choose somebody out, I'm telling you that. But yeah. This was a very positive experience here. Could have been during Gemini season, you know, early summer, right? Late spring, early summer. Um, could have been at night. I'm not sure. I don't. the The time and place doesn't seem to be popping out too much. But let's see. Oh, we have the. We also have the tower, the gargoyle, also wings again. We have both of these creatures have horns. Um. But again, I'm not, I'm not seeing this as a, that's possible that there was negativity associated with this experience. Like I said, like, you know, a near death experience or an actual death, you know, especially with the tower here, like there was a change, like whatever this was, like, again, it, it completely changed you. Like the tower came down and then you were born from the ashes. Right? Yeah. And then the consciousness, you were just like completely, completely changed in this moment. But we got wings again. That's that's wild. I, I'm like 
almost like sure this is like angel energy i'm like how could how could this not be i mean if you have an assumption like you think it might be something else but very very similar to this then how would you know believe in your story <laughs> okay and then we have the three cups reverse which is which so okay there's some something about this that's also um they're like illusions too so i mean again this could be something that you tell other people and maybe other people think that you just saw like just made made it up um there's a lot going on right now there's a lot going on right now that could be, the experience you had could have been very overwhelming there could be multiple things that were associated with the experience This is the witch here, by the way, if you want to get a closer look. Three cups reverse, though. This could be connection and then disconnection, too. With the lovers and then three cups reverse. Lovers and then the tower and then three cups reverse. That could have been, like I said, yeah, a connection and then a disconnection. Here. <laughs> When a bell rings, an angel gets his wings, right? <laughs> All right. So yeah, again, whatever this experience was, it was something, it would happen, came together, very, very powerful, very close, very intimate, and then a separation. But like everything changed for you. All right. And then these next cards are going to be, um, if you're able to see this creature again, what you can do about the situation, about the moment. All right. So we have the four of swords reverse. We have the five of um, wands reverse. And then we have the high priestess. I'm kind of feeling like, like there is like a desire, you know, with the four wands swords reverse here that can be like anxiety like there could be like a restlessness associated with um how you're feeling now like you you want to go again or maybe there's like this could also because it's be somebody like dead this could be um manifested in like you don't want to die now too especially like i said like if you had like a near-death experience or you're not scared to die with the five of wands reverse here like you're not you're not fighting death and you could be that could be it that could be like you don't fear death anymore um and then also with the high priestess here there is just a, the awareness here i think there's not necessarily anything for you to do at this point i think you already have the awareness that like you were meant to gain from this experience um and you're just supposed to hold on to that and carry that but yeah i don't necessarily think that <clears throat> i think you're supposed to use it as like maybe a guide in your life, you know? Let this moment, like, you know, ease any anxieties you have, right? But yeah, I think something about this, like, calmed you, soothed you. And if you're not feeling soothed, then you should think back to this experience that happened and let that be the thing that, like, let it like wash over you right um okay i definitely think that this situation changed your perception of a lot of things it definitely raised your consciousness um with consciousness here and then the high priestess being the last card we have um but yeah i think this isn't the four swords reverse and the five ones reverse i don't think this is something that you necessarily need to like actively try to make happen again i don't know if you even you probably you might want to i mean if, i feel like if i had experience like this i would also want to see something like this again but um i feel like for you maybe you're not like really the, like you're you're settling and just having the awareness like you know that that new appreciation maybe it wants you to like now um like save your life you know not like necessarily fight your way through it but like work your way through it um knowing when to rest and knowing when to act i 
think you're able to see the duality in life now and if you're still kind of uh, about that then think about that i'm also noticing that like her cloak with the butterflies is like yellow and red no butterflies butterflies can represent transformation and then the high priestess i believe these are to me i assume that they're pomegranates even though i know they're not yellow but they have the yellow and the red too so like pomegranates can represent like fertility um I mean, it is possible that the bean you saw, if you don't know who the bean is, this could be a bean that will end up coming into your life one way or another. Um, like a soul yet to be born. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you did have another interaction with, with this creature, but it may not be like, in the, it's, it won't be, I think, in the same way. Maybe, you know, once you do pass on or if they do come through like a different form. But yeah, I think you're just you're just supposed to like have the awareness that this happened and that this is real and let it change your life, let it change how you act in life, let it give you power, let it give you strength, um, let it give you like the ability to like, yeah, not not feel like you have to fight so hard. But yeah, whatever this experience was, Kyle 3, I'm sorry for all these distractions here, but um. Yeah, this moment could distract you sometimes. Like you just, maybe you spend a lot of time thinking about it. Um, or maybe you forget it a lot. And maybe that's part of this is that you need to remember this. So you need to remember that this, this, did, this did happen. Especially if this was a moment when you were like, you know, like it was a, you know, you passed, you did die and came, you know, died for five minutes or whatever. And came back or you were like at like rock bottom of a situation and you saw something you're not sure if it was like induced by something else or you know by chemicals right whether it's the you know dmt your brain releases when you die or the substance that maybe was whatever it was right um this was a real experience you did see this this was a bean of light that you did have an encounter with um and it was meant to change your life you should let it change your life. I think that already has, or at the very least, your life has changed since the moment. But I think if you're ever feeling like down or just not right, think back to this moment. Remember it was real and whatever happened, I don't know if something was said to you. Um, I didn't really get anything about that, about like the actual, like there was some sort of connection that happened here. And then tower, shakes falls down and then there's disconnection which it's make, it's just making me think of like a near death or a death experience you know that's what i keep thinking about especially in the succubus here where it's like she comes to him in his sleep you know i mean you could have been this could have been a dream you had very possible could have been a dream i think it's a little more than just a dream but it wasn't just a dream you know it was not just a dream it was real it was real so remember that remember that did actually happen um it was an actual creature whatever you felt saw heard was very real and is something you're supposed to carry on with you throughout your life and the decisions you make in the way that you act or don't act um yeah especially we're closing out with the high priestess here so all right all right so thank you for joining um if you like this, you can like, comment, subscribe. Again, I'm sorry for all the distractions here. I just don't. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, and we'll just go to the next pile. Thank you. Pile four. Let's see your experience. So, pile four. You have the toucan here. You chose the toucan. So, the toucan. Um, one of the things it represents is like speaking up. Um, this could be sharing wisdom or just like putting yourself in the spotlight, uh, social skills, whatever, speaking up. Um, I couldn't find much on like myth about them, but um, you know, they are like South American, Central American birds. Um, 
they were their oh, Belize is significant. It was like a type of toucan, I think it was like the bird, national bird. Um Brazil is significant here too. Um and then also there is actually a constellation. It's the Tucana constellation. And I didn't get much on that myth, but you might want to look into it. It might be significant for you at this time or in relation to the story here. But um, yeah, something about speaking out about something. So we'll just get the rest of the cards and see what's up. So the first cards will be just the yes or no. Have you had an encounter with um, a spiritual being? So even before I look at this, I'm thinking like, maybe you haven't and you need to speak up about it like speak it out into existence that you want to but let's see so oh ooh, we have the entertainer and the six of birds so having the entertainer with the two again is already like really interesting and then the six of birds so the six of birds or the six of swords came it's about like um travel specifically like a mental travel i think that and then with the entertainer here I think that's literally it. I don't know if you've had an experience. Maybe you have. But um, there's something about calling the experience to you. Like bringing it to you. Have it, having it come to you. Yeah, like like inviting it. So again, I don't, I'm not getting like an automatic yes or no from this. If it is a yes, if you have already experienced it, it's because you called it in, right? In whatever way it was you called it in or you will call it in. Maybe you're calling something in. But yes, there's there's movement, there's whether you're moving, I don't think it's as much as you're moving towards something though. I think something's moving towards you, especially if you're speaking up about it. This could be like, if you're trying to see like, if you're trying to see a creature like fairies is one thing where it's like, there's so much information out there on how to like communicate with them, right? This could be something like that where like, if you want to, or if you have before, it's because you um, actually did something to make it happen. You know, with entertainer here, like actually putting up like a little fairy house or putting out whatever. And again, if you're going to do that, you got to be careful because yeah, um, do your research on anything you do. Okay. Because you wouldn't want to risk fucking with any creature at all. Okay. I mean, you do that no matter what, you know, you go to another country, you better have your information and know what's up so you don't go over and, you know, embarrass yourself or disrespect people, right? So, yeah, so you just need to, you know, make sure you have informa the information you need if you want to access something um, so you can do it correctly and appropriately. But this, is, this has to do with you calling something and you bringing something to you. And then we have a six of birds and then we have a bird here. So that's kind of funny. Um, so it could, it could be, you know, it could be fairies. I mean, I brought it up. It could be something like that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, whatever it says is something that you did or you will call in. You will bring it to you. Yeah, let's keep going here. So these next cards are just going to be, oh yeah, the feeling you were feeling when you saw the creature. Um, if you haven't already seen it, then we'll see, you know, whatever the feeling is. We'll, but we have peace so another bird another bird peace also contentment peace and contentment um yeah again i'm not sure if you have if you have seen it um there's a lot of birds here though birds are significant and again this could be like a i don't know if there's like Again, I'll look at the mythology of toucans or like maybe there's some sort of like magical little bird, but <clears throat> again, you know, I'm like, we'll get more on it, but um, peace and contentment. You know, if you did encounter this thing, that's how you felt, you know, was that at peace with the situation or like it just made you feel peaceful especially if you were like surrounded by whatever it was and you just like soaked it up maybe you were entertained by what was happening um little birds or whatever just flying all around you it's making me think of um and like barbie and the nutcracker 
when uh, Cara, Clara, whatever, is um, the multi there's multiple scenes where like the fairies like surround her and stuff. Like it's making me think of that, right? And I'm sure she was feeling more than just like peace, but at the same time there was like it was kind of it was a peaceful moment, right? Um. Yeah, so let's just go. So we have the moon reverse, which is werewolf. So the moon reverse, um, I'm looking at the moon reverse in this card specifically rather than the werewolf. So with these cards, it's telling us either what it is or also we could read the tarot. So what I'm seeing is the moon reverse is that you are fully aware of what this is. So whatever this is, whether you've seen it or you haven't seen it, but you want to see it, you know exactly what it is, right? You know what it is you've seen, what you're seeing, what you hope to see my mind over all these images okay and then we have the knight of swords reverse which is the barbarian so again with the knight of swords reverse i think this is something like coming to you because i know the knight of swords reverse can be like you know acting impulsively or like um being rash with your actions or um maybe even being abrasive with it but I'm getting more like, instead of you going to it, it came to you, you know? Like, even in this card with the wolf, the wolf is coming into their window. Like, the wolf comes to this person, you know? And then we have... <gasps> I knew it! I knew this card was going to come out. I didn't see... I did not see it beforehand. But we have the four of wands reverse, which is the fairy card. We got the fairy card. We got the fairy card. Four of Wands reverse. This can also represent the home. This could be, and again, this is where I'm saying you gotta be careful with stuff, okay? Because this could literally be fairies coming into your house, okay? If you invite them in, they will come in. So be careful with that because if you, I don't know, I really don't know a lot. All right, but if you want to encounter something, especially fairies, have it like a special place maybe outside on like your front porch or balcony or something but like if you can have it be like a little bit away from your house um until you know exactly what you're doing and like what they're like because i'm sure that they're just like people and have their own personalities and maybe you'll come in contact with like a little group that's like really sweet and nice and want to do whatever maybe you'll come into contact with a group that wants to fuck your shit up you know so <laughs> be careful because I could see this as you, this could also you be acting like um, too quickly without thinking um, and inviting something into your home that you don't want in your home. Okay, so you got to be careful here. Again, I don't know if this is something that, this might be something that's more in the process of happening right now. Like this is something that you're like in the process of thinking about doing. I don't know if it's actually happened yet. I'm not getting the feeling that it's already happened. I think it's more like. It's about to happen, right? That's more what I'm getting with your pile power pile four. Is that it's not quite happened, but you're working on making it happen. I think it's very possible that it can happen with all these the specific cards that are coming out. I think it's very possible for this to happen, but you need to like you need to educate yourself. You need to make sure you're doing this correctly. Especially with the social skill that I brought up here, you need to make sure you have that social skill with these other beings, whether they're fairies or other thing, you know, other creatures um whatever it is okay you need to educate yourself and there's you know obviously it's a little like maybe hard or complicated when it's something that's like thought to be fake right so all the information is like some might be real some might be just like little stories so do a lot of different research look at a lot of different things um also use your own discernment and intuition to know what's the right way to approach something um again i would just be I would just be careful, especially if this, we're talking about fairies here, okay? Because you, you never know. You really don't. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if you, you might already have all this knowledge and that's why you're doing this, but just be careful. Don't act too quickly. Don't act, you know, because I mean, I think they'll come. That's the thing is that if you're calling for them or whatever it is, it will come to you. Like, that's really what I'm getting is that yeah that's it's happening it's going to happen i really feel like it'll happen so i got the after tarot here so this is like how to see it again or what to do with the information 
I don't think that you've already seen them. So hopefully this will give us like info on like how to go about this. So we have the five. Why do you see the five? It's because the last I feel was five. But we have the ten of wands reverse here. So this is like an ease of a burden or responsibility here. Um, we have the magician. We have the strength reverse. And we have the five, five of swords reverse. Yeah, again, I would just be careful because I don't know if your intention is to like have companions or because I know that there's like a myth with like elves or whatever or fairies and then they have people like do work for them. So I don't know if that's your intention is to bring them in so they could do something for you. I would be careful of that um, because with strength reversed here, I don't know. This could indicate like a weakness of either you or them. This could also, what I'm thinking, indicate like um, a lack of companionship maybe. Um, so again, you just need to be aware with what you're doing here and go about it in a proper way. We also have a dove in the magician card here. So we have a dove twice. So doves are relevant. Um, this could be even if like you're calling in, like you want pigeons. Say that it's not, we could talk about this with in terms of the pigeons. Like if you want to collect pigeons so that they could deliver messages for you, you still have to do your research, okay? You still have to be careful. You still don't want, you know, the cage like literally right next to your door because then you risk them just flying into your house, right? So again, just be cautious because yeah, you could think of this in terms of like just birds, like actual, I mean, we're talking about mythological creatures or uh, magical beings, but you could think of it like, like pigeons too like yes it is absolutely possible to collect pigeons and have them like be companions or work for you or whatever but you still have to have the knowledge so that you take care of them or so they don't fly into your house and shit everywhere or bite you or you know maybe you go about it wrong and then you collect random pigeons that have diseases or something you know so you gotta be really careful about this stuff okay um but I can see that there's a hope to bring these creatures in to, like, help you with something. All right. But you need to build that connection first. If you don't, like, build the connection, then it increases the likelihood of um, it not really working out or it not going in your favor. Also, um... I wouldn't try to necessarily control it. If it's a partnership that you want, then make it be a partnership, not like I'm the master and you're my servant, you know? Um, Cause yeah, with the strength reverse here and then the five of swords reverse here, that's what I'm thinking is that like, you know, you run, there's like the risk of like, this just not working out. Um, you also need to like, yeah, not try to be like arrogant or greedy with this. You need to come to like an agreement, like one where there's not one person is like, these people are like working together, you know, it's like, yes, there's like a master here, but also like, you don't, I don't think with these creatures, it's necessarily like, like maybe but you have to be really, really careful because also if you do become like a leader or whatever, that's a new responsibility that you now have. Okay. So if you're trying to ease your burdens and ease your responsibilities, you gotta be extra careful because this could potentially be a situation where you end up with more responsibility, okay? Like, this isn't something to just be, like, you know, silly about if you're trying to be serious about it. So, yeah, I think, like, do your research, get your bearings together. Um, do this in a way that brings peace to all parties involved. But yeah, I see that this is definitely like, yes, if you want it, you will get it. So be careful about how you go about it. All right. All right. 12-4. That's your reading. Thank you for joining. If you like it, you can like, comment, subscribe. Sorry for the alarm and the dog barking and, and oh, but, um, that's it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.